So let's go over how you can crop an image to a shape using Procreate for the iPad. The first thing you'll want to do is open up your Layers menu and turn off the visibility of the background layer by unchecking this box right here. Then you can close out of the Layers menu by tapping on that icon again. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a selection in the shape that we'd like to use to crop our shape with. So let's come over here to the Selections menu. And over here we have different ways that we can create selections. For this tutorial we'll be focusing on rectangle and ellipse. So if you want to crop your image to a, a square or a rectangle, choose that option. If you want to crop your image to a circle or ellipse, choose this option right here. For this demonstration I will be cropping it to a circle. So I'm going to choose ellipse and I'm just going to swipe across my screen like this to create a circle and then I'm going to use my index finger from my other hand to hold a tap on the canvas like that so that we get a perfectly round circle. And I'm going to place that perfectly round circle right where I'd like the crop to be, right around the subject just like that and then I can release it. And now what I want to do is invert this selection. So I'll come down here to where it says invert and tap on that. And now what we can do is we can open up our options menu over here or our actions menu rather come over here to where it says add and go to cut. And now you can see what all that is left is that circle right there. So now let's crop the image, or let's crop the document rather so that it's the same size as this crop circle here. So come over here to where it says canvas, go to crop and resize. And then we're going to open up our settings, go to snapping, enable that. And now we could just take the edges of our crop here and snap it to the edges of our circle with the image inside of it like that and tap done. And there you go, we are finished. That is how you can crop an image to a shape using Procreate for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.